Coming to you from the Burnaby Marine Modelers Association Pond in Burnaby, we're talking to Gary King today about drive technology and tugboats. Well, my name is Gary King. I'm one of the local members here of the club in the area, and this is my model of Ajax. Uh, this is an actual scale representation of a real vessel which is a float in Hogson, Norway. It belongs to Joanne's fleet. Its job is tanker escort in the North Sea. Uh, a lot of people understand that when tankers are around and they have different needs, uh, these get towed behind the tankers and work as steering anchors and such. Uh, this model is 85 pounds in weight. It's 52 inches long. Inside, when I'll lift the top here and show you, I've got uh, a scale representation of the Voice Snyder drive. Underneath, there's a carriage like a record player. Out of that record player are five blades that stick down. And as they come around in a circle, they each take a turn of going through a scoop cycle, a neutral cycle, and a push cycle. The drives are turning as I just meticulate where this push and scoop is coming from. I can play with it on this side of the circle or the other side of the circle. Thus I go left and right and forward and backwards. What I'll do now is I'll put some RPM into it. These are brushed motors. Uh, they're one-third horsepower each. They're a digital motor. They're actually out of a machine for machine purposes, not actually designed for model boat RPM. The fact that it's a paddle drive it will go just as fast in reverse as it will go forward. So what kind of advantages does this drive system give the real boat in the real world? As propellers go and paddles go, paddles offer less slippage when water spilling off the side. Propellers have to carve the water or screw through the water to generate thrust. This being a propeller which is a circle drive, it goes through the clean water on the front, but on the back side of the blade, it's going through the cavitated water. At speed, this becomes a major drag, and this is the reason the vessels only do about 14 knots. But the advantage is that this boat can actually stop on a dime. Lots, lots of power, lots of thrust, at low RPMs, very quickly. Uh, this is a scale replica of a ship docking tug in Vancouver Harbor, up here in Vancouver, Canada. Uh, this is vessels called the Tagger Sun. It was owned by Rivto. This is the original paint job that the vessel had. All scale, this one is an actual replica. All the skippers of the real vessel have actually played with this model. The real tugboat skippers stand between a console and they have one handle that looks very similar to this on each pedestal. He'll take his hand, he'll turn this. As he turns this, you'll notice that the drive at the back here turns in sync with the handle. For him to travel forward, he just leans this forward and as the, as the stick leans forward, the propeller works. One of the drives I have right now is pointing straight sideways. The other drive I'm using, I'm using it for steering. With the Z-Drive model, as I can plow sideways, thus I get bury the ass butt end of water. If I take the drives and oppose them, and just open up the throttles here, we can uh, get the model going in quite a spin. Well, that was fascinating, Gary. Thank you very much for showing us all of this technology and all the work you put into this model. Okay, thank you. Thank you. See you guys later. Now it's time for the Big Boys with Cool Toys Tech Tip of the Week. Hi, I'm Alex Morgan. Welcome back to the Big Boys Tech Tip of the Week. So this week I want to talk to you about a little bit about how to get into the beginner, intermediate, and advanced helicopters. A lot of people jump right into looking at a helicopter this size or even a helicopter like this, which is a full collective pitch helicopter, which can go inverted. Okay, so right here, we have a coaxial helicopter, which basically means that both of these blades will spin opposite each other. One will spin this way, one will spin this way. Your first channel on this helicopter will bring you up and down. Your second channel on this helicopter will give you your, your side to side. And on your third channel, you go forward, backwards, and on the fourth channel, you'll go side to side. When you graduate from this one, you'll move up to something that is this size or maybe possibly a little bigger. This means fixed pitch right here. It has a rear tail rotor and it is only four channels. So it is capable of doing the same maneuvers side to side 
up, down, forward, back, left, and right. From there, you move yourself on to a full collective helicopter. The only thing that separates this from these guys right here is the fact that this helicopter can now, with the blades changing from negative and positive pitch on your controller when you flick the fifth channel or sixth channel control, and with the blades straighten at zero, okay, you will have a hover that is exactly like this. So now hopefully you are a little more informed on what is the counter rotating, a fixed pitch, and a full collective pitch helicopter being the beginner, the intermediate, and advanced helicopters to go with. And that is your big boys tech tip of the week.